Hey guys, Ben here, and welcome back to another video. On The Flash Season 8, today we're going to be doing a video on some of your questions. There is actually some very interesting stuff. Obviously, right now, we don't have that much information as in regards to Season 8 of The Flash, but DC Fandom is coming up very soon. We should be getting our first look at the season, including new trailers and new pieces of information from the cast and the showrunner, Eric Wallace. They're going to be going into some of that stuff. So I look forward to that and I'm sure you guys are looking forward to that because it's been quite a while since we've had Flash news. Obviously we do have the sets. There's not that much to dig into apart from stuff that has already been announced like to do a Despero and everything like that. We kind of know bits and pieces and so there's not that much information right now basically is what I'm trying to say. But that's why we're doing the Q&A videos because you guys bring up some interesting questions and we get to theorize about it and put it all into one video. So if you do go on to enjoy the video, please be sure to leave a like and a comment and subscribe if you're new so you don't miss any DC TV videos later this year. So let's go ahead and get into this. So the first question comes from Flash first. His question is this. Did original timeline Flash have his own version of Team Flash? Now, when I saw this question from Flash Rest, I was like, wow, this is a great question because I never actually thought of that. Because when we think of original timeline Flash, we always just think about that moment in the past where we've seen him. And are we going to go back to that moment? Is that version of the Flash ever going to show up? Is it possible even that he's still alive and still out there in a different timeline? Those are just a few of the questions that people have been asking. But really, let's look at it. What was this original timeline Flash's reality like? So as far as we know, in that version, in the original timeline, Harrison Wells wouldn't create the particle accelerator until much later, I think it was 2020, pretty much bang on somewhere around there, and that's at the point where Barry would be exposed to the dark matter, and that's how he would become the Flash, he would get powers at a much later point. And so with this, you would have to assume that Harrison Wells, obviously we're talking about the good Wells, this is Timeless Wells we're talking about, who actually made a return, so, you know, that guy does still exist because of multiple different factors, including Crisis on Infinite Earths. But nevertheless, that's kind of irrelevant. So let's go back to original timeline Flash. Now, he obviously knew Wells, as we just mentioned, but I'm guessing in that timeline they probably had a version of Cisco and Caitlyn. So, I mean two specific characters that were probably working at Star Labs, and I reckon if that timeline played out, it would have played out somewhat similar to this timeline we're on right now. Obviously, you know, it's gonna be different because the Flash doesn't become the Flash until many years later, so there's a high chance that someone like Cisco exists. It could be exactly Cisco, it could be like a different, slightly changed version of him, or it could be a completely different person like say, Hartley Raffaway, who maybe was going to be like the Cisco of that timeline, but obviously that didn't turn out to be. And same thing goes for Caitlyn. I reckon in some form both of those characters would have existed and would have been a part of that Team Flash. And I'm not sure in regards to everyone else, I presume Iris would have come into the picture at some point and would have been part of Team Flash, but like the ever-expanding sort of group of characters that we've got today, like Chester, Allegra, Cecile, Joe, I think Joe would have always been a part of that, but like Chester, Allegra, and Cecile, I don't think they would have been a part of it. I think, you know, there could be some big changes, and I think you would keep the core of Team Flash the same, but you wouldn't have, like, the extra people. Maybe you would have extra people, but I think there's a high chance that they would be very different. Okay, so let's move on to the next question. This comes from AJL on YouTube, who asks, How many episodes will there be in Season 8 of The Flash? So, I think in regards to Season 8, it's probably going to be something similar to last season. Last season we had a lesser amount of episodes than we would normally have, along with the season before that got cut short by the pandemic. So I would estimate by looking at past season lengths and the most recent seasons, it's probably going to be around 20 max, and I think 18 minimum. So I would say the safe bet right now is to go with 18 like what we had last season, but there is always a chance that they up it to two more and have 20 like Supergirl or like Batwoman or, you know, any of the other shows that are running with higher episode counts. 
In the past, it would have been no question that a show like The Flash would run for 21 or 22 episodes. That's what The Flash normally did. But recently, there's been a trend of the CW going with like 20 as their highest. And then they would cut down on some of the other shows and give them like 18 episodes or somewhere along the lines of that, especially because of the restrictions and, you know, they didn't know how many episodes they would get to film last year, so they went safe rather than, you know, being sorry and trying to aim too high for like 22 episodes and then it's like, oh crap, we couldn't film the last month or two because, you know, this guy had to isolate and, you know, it screwed up the whole production and we messed up all our scheduling and so obviously it's better safe than sorry. In these instances so yeah I'm gonna say 18 episodes okay let's move on to Jaden's question Jaden says I want to see the reverse flash get a suit upgrade and the flash and Superman to cross over so in regards to the flash and Superman crossing over we've talked about this quite a few times recently it's definitely gonna happen it's not gonna happen in this crossover I think it will happen in the next crossover so not this year but next year so hopefully the first big event post pandemic we'll see if the pandemic actually ends by next year but fingers crossed things are going to be back to normal and they won't have to think about restrictions about who can show up and everything like that and then you would get like the full-on big arrowverse crossover that we used to get and the last one we got was crisis on infinite earths obviously and so that's when you'll see the flash and superman crossing over again and in regards to your first question i want to see the reverse flash get a suit upgrade it's very possible, we know Reverse Flash will be coming back, he's coming back for the 5 part crossover event. I'm not going to say it's likely that he's going to get a suit upgrade right now, but considering he is the biggest Flash villain of all time, and he will probably be one of the main villains in the Flash's final season whenever that happens, it's likely that he could get an upgrade, especially for that final season because I mean, they're going to want to make a mark, and what makes a mark more than a big suit change for The Flash's biggest villain? So I don't see why that couldn't happen, and that's a good question. I think it's very possible. Okay, let's move on to the next question. This comes from Donovan Brandon on YouTube who asks, Will we ever have a Bar Talon TV show? So we've talked about spin-offs, and I think I've brought up the idea of like a Tornado Twin spin-off with Bart and Laura. It's very possible people do like those characters, especially Bart recently. So, I mean, the idea of a Bart spinoff is definitely in the books when The Flash ends. I'm not going to say it's going to happen now because I don't think it's going to happen now. I don't think there's going to be any other Flash directly related spinoffs until we get to The Flash's final season. And then they maybe want to do like a backdoor pilot kind of thing, like what Black Lightning and Arrow tried to do. Obviously, they weren't very successful with that. but. There was success in the past because Arrow had a backdoor pilot episode for The Flash and obviously the rest is history. So I don't see why not in the final season have a backdoor pilot for a Bart Allen spin-off show because he is popular, he's one of the biggest Flash characters that's not Barry Allen and Jordan Fisher who plays Bart or he played him last season and hopefully he'll play him further on into the future. He seemed to really like his role and his time as Bart so I don't see why he couldn't show up and actually return as Bart but in his own show. But again, it's kind of really down to the CW what they want to do with the future because they've been turning away shows left, right and center to do with the Arrowverse. I mean, like, look at Green Arrow and the Canaries, look at Wonder Girl, look at all of these other shows. They're just like, nope, 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 no painkiller for you. And they've only gone for one new show, which is Naomi, and that's about it. So I don't know how many more Arrowverse shows are going to be picking up. Obviously, when The Flash goes away, they're going to need to pick up new shows, considering it's their most popular Arrowverse show. And it would be a big detriment to them to not utilize the Flash IP that they have. And having a Bart Allen Flash spin-off show or like a Flash family show would literally be perfect, I think, in terms of transferring that audience to a new show, but have a different lead and have it be a bit different. Okay, let's move on to the final question. This comes from Chosen Vader owner who asks, do you think we will get a flashback of Eddie on what happened to him when he went inside the portal in the season one finale? And maybe that's how he becomes Cobalt Blue. So 
if he ever becomes Cobalt Blue, and if Cobalt Blue ever shows up in the show for that matter, you would definitely need an origin flashback for someone like Eddie Thorne, say from our Earth, becoming Cobalt Blue, because there is obviously something that has kicked off his journey to becoming Cobalt Blue, so why wouldn't it be a flashback to that? I think it makes sense, so I like your thinking, Chosen Vader. And I don't know if Cobalt Blue, when he shows up eventually, which I presume he will because it's been teased for a long time, will actually be from Arav. There is a possibility that he could be like an alternate timeline version of Eddie. He could be Eddie from another Earth, and that is why he has come to get there, maybe because of Crisis. It could be related to that, maybe the hero's enacting crisis completely messed up his world, and he's on the hunt for the Flash because he is the one that kind of initiated it, you know, with the newspaper and everything like that. So, I don't know, just theorizing, but I guess there's a possibility that Cobalt Blue could show up as a villain one day, but we'll just have to wait and see, but I do like the flashback idea, I definitely think that makes sense. So that's about it for this video guys, thank you guys so much for watching, if you did enjoy the video please be sure to leave a like and a comment, subscribe and turn on notifications, it really helps the channel out, and so you don't miss any videos, but for now you can click on the top right corner of the screen, and I'll catch you guys later, goodbye. I see red.